Hello, this is Tech Dumps again, another week, another random thing to do, and much like talked about in last week's episode, I'm going to be giving out NixOS a shot here. I'm installing it on my kitchen counter, my son's asleep, and my wife is in the other room watching something, so this is as good of a spot as any. I'm going to zoom in try to rearrange the camera a few times. It's going to be kind of annoying for you guys, and I'm sorry about that. Also sorry that the uh, screen has a little bit of mess on it, but this is my older gaming laptop that really isn't used for much anymore except for collecting dust and maybe the occasional I'll load something into it and play a game. Perfect testing bed for... NixOS. And in preparation for making this video, I did do some research into Nix and some of its different nuances, quirks. And I gotta say, people online were much more terrifying about this than almost any other OS I've run into. I forgot the post it was one on github and if you've looked into it maybe you've ran into this yourself why should i not install nix os and there it's hard if you're only using it for one machine why does it matter you wouldn't want to do this there's going to be errors that are so specific to just this that no matter where you look you're not going to be able to find what you're looking for and it's just going to be impossible i wanted to take that test to uh its fullest it is surprisingly easy to use get around figure stuff out especially after reading so much hate on it online i gotta say if you're worrying about it and you don't want to watch the rest of this video it seems quite pleasant Super easy to use, easy to in install. I might even at a later date try moving it onto other systems and using my same config file that I set up just to see how things go. But it's mostly like any other distro you've used. It's got its own corks, its own little things that you have to do for it, but it's nothing too crazy. So if you want to go ahead and exit the video there, save yourself the pain yeah go ahead install it have some fun you're you're not gonna regret it now some things in there i'm gonna select uh use free software or unfree software that's fine with me uh, if it makes things run a little bit more smooth i'll run some stuff that maybe doesn't have the best practices behind it I'm uh, not that prideful. Uh, the installer did take a little bit longer here than I expected. Uh, used to things pretty snappy, but uh, this one gave me enough time to boil up some water and make some Insta coffee. So I'm not complaining, but if you had to do it in a pinch, it's not going to be the most streamlined of installs that you've ever really should have cut out the part of me wiping that onto the ground. I'm going to go ahead and save everyone the trouble also of watching me do another initial setup of here's some of the applications I like. It's going to be pretty much the same as the ones from the last video, except uh, this being a gaming laptop, let's try some games on it. Let's see how hard it is. I, I saw a few people make posts about that. Oh, it's too hard to get gaming stuff running on it for it to be worth its weight of anything. Couldn't be more or farther from the truth. I don't, you know, maybe with some better titles and more demanding games, maybe you would struggle. I didn't struggle at all. There's some really good documentation on setting up your uh, graphics card into a off-board mode or off-load mode for the games super easy just a few lines 
in the config file. I am just going to kind of skip past this because I just hit trees and jump around. It does look a little choppy on the video now that I'm watching it uh, post. Um, in real time, there was none of this. I don't know if this was an issue with uh, Gnome's built-in screen record. But uh, yeah, it was definitely not choppy at all. Looked like it ran perfect. If you're here to play Terraria, it's going to be nothing, no issue. That being said, I don't think many people would have even thought that that would have been an issue. This is not a demanding game in any stretch of the means. But, you know, I'm a simpler guy. I like simpler things. This is probably as exciting as it's going to get. But... Just to test out a few other ones, I do end up testing out Red Dead Redemption 2. It runs really smooth. I'm really hoping it doesn't have the same screen tearing effects because I did uh, uninstall that one already. Another game that I installed that isn't super relevant probably in nowadays is uh, Left 4 Dead 2. It ran flawlessly as well. No issues, ran, got the job done. If you're using less demanding games, I think I also tested Super Meat Boy out. All those ran so perfect that I don't think you would have any issue whatsoever. And here is some of the things inside of my configuration file. You're going to see that there's not a whole lot of extra bloat added to this pretty much just some packages and the NVIDIA settings stuff. Again, this is so painfully simple for my setup that I can't even complain. I'm, I'm blown away that people were A, upset with how hard it was, and B, how truly friendly it was once I started doing it. Here's some of the Red Dead. Let's see, hoping for no screen tearing, no jitters. Okay, it looks pretty smooth, actually. Yeah, I think it looked maybe even a little bit more smooth when I was running it. Yeah, I mean, I had all the settings on low. I'm not running by any means like a good GPU, CPU's alright, like everything is okay, and it probably could run better on a better system, not probably, it definitely would run better on a better system, um, that being said, I don't think you're switching to Nix for gaming, that's, that's probably no one's intention here, nor should it be anyone's intention anywhere around this. You should definitely go with a different distro that is specific for gaming on Linux. Um, that being said, maybe I do end up making a thing of this. Next, we try out that one. I forgot the name of it currently, but it is the Nobra Linux. Nobra? Not sure. It's built off of Fedora, which... I'm already a fan of, huge fan of that, sounds fantastic, not really sure what it's bringing to the table, but maybe we do start uh, exploring some other distros, trying some other stuff out, seeing how that one runs, maybe even build out a PC in the future, distant, far down, for now I'll run off of my two older-ish laptops and just have a good time, but uh, no, for end of what is NixOS, it's a great, friendly system that uh, everyone should give a try. It's not hard, it's not outrageous. Um, I saw a few people making videos out there that were, this is the 
thing that's going to make you a millionaire. The job's $300,000 going strong. Not throwing shade, probably was. There's a lot of companies out there that will pay a lot of money if you know specific stuff, but uh, probably just not a ton of people working on this yet. It's pretty simple, pretty great, friendly community other than the people that were on GitHub. Everyone on Reddit seemed fantastic, and uh, yeah, give it a shot. Build yourself out a little config file, edit it up, save it. You can always go back, throw it on there, and you're back to square one. Or, well, square ten, maybe. Give it a shot. You will not regret it.